Hi everyone, I'm Varun, and today I'll be doing a deep dive into the various wiki functionalities on Tabletop Mirror. I'll talk about books, what they're for, how they connect to the various mechanics of tabletop role-playing games, and then walk through the process of making your own book. Let's start by actually taking a look at a book and the functionalities it provides. You can navigate there by clicking Books under the World Building icon. Looking at the books available to me, I see two books, one about my mechanics and one about my game setting. Of course, one of these is only visible to me, while the other is publicly visible. This is a setting you control when you write the book on a per-page basis. If you watch the deep dive on mechanics, you might be wondering why my rule set shows up here. The way I like to think about it is that the mechanics and rules of a system are telling the system how your rules work. The books, on the other hand, are telling your players how your rules work. Let's take a look at what I mean. Going into the rule set, you can see the book's general overview and the main table of contents, but you also see a section to search for specific pages in your book. Naturally, when you go to a page, you can see everything written on that page. Like with most places on Tabletop Mirror, we have full markdown support. That means you can create paragraphs, bulleted lists, tables, and of course links to other places, even PDFs. Now, while there's no forced connection between your books and your mechanics, you can, of course, link to your book from anywhere else in the site, keeping in mind that the privacy settings may stop some people from following the links, even if you can use them. Overall, that's the main points about books and linking on Tabletop Mirror. The important part to note here is that basically books provide a place for freeform writing that can be separate or interwoven with your mechanics themselves, entirely based on your preference or your book's purpose. Now let's try creating a book from scratch. We start by clicking the Create button. In the dialog that pops up, we name our book and then click Create to create our empty book. Now let's enter Edit Mode and give the book a basic overall description. Here you'll see a lot of book-wide settings and tools, but we'll come back to that later. When writing in Markdown fields on Tabletop Mirror, we use the at symbol to tag other pages with autocomplete functionalities, making it easy to connect your content together. We now have a description, but our book is still pageless, so let's try creating a page. All we need is a name. Let's edit our new page and give it a description as well. While we're at it, let's give it a section and use headers to give it subsections. We can also add some basic information or quick facts at the top of the page. Now let's say I really like this page's format. I can save the format as a template by clicking the Create Template button and giving it a name. This sends us back to the book's main page. From here, let's edit. Now we can see our new template under the list of available page templates for this book. Before we mess around with that, let's add our new page as a home page for this book. Now, remember that header we made? Auto-tagging is a feature provided by Tabletop Mirror to automatically tag all of the headers in our book to make them more searchable. Let's go ahead and try it out. Because our header was only a top-level header, we can use a depth of 2. Let's confirm and let auto-tagging do its thing. We can also do this process manually, but this feature makes it a lot easier for big books. It only takes a moment or two to auto-tag, so let's go back to our page and see what it did. As you can see, auto-tagging added our header as a search tag for this particular section. This makes it easy to find it anywhere in Tabletop Mirror. Now let's go back to those templates. Another tool provided by Books on Tabletop Mirror is the Page Organizer. It helps you automatically detect and apply page templates to pages that seem to match up well. Obviously, page 1 is a perfect match because we made the template from it. But this feature is really useful when you want to add a new template to an existing book or just find pages that should be in a category but aren't. Now, when we go back to our page, we can see the template has been applied. This locks up and requires a certain structure to this page. We can also apply this template to new pages to make them conform as well, making it easy to standardize and organize our content. Back on our book page, we can also see our pages can be found in the book-wide index, but they'll also show up in global searches. We'll cover TTM search systems more thoroughly in future deep dives. That's all for today. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to our YouTube or subreddit so you can stay up to date and take part in our open beta. Thanks for watching. See you next time.